Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming down to another video with me. Today I'm going to be reacting to Amira Willinghagen. I don't truly know how to pronounce her last name. And Andre Hoyer singing O Mio Babino Garo. I've seen her sing O Mio Babino Garo before. The first time I got a lot of backlash and I still do, but I react to her anyway because people requested these and I'm going to be reacting to them. Let's listen to this. Make sure to subscribe down below. Click that notifications bell if you want more of Amira, if you want more of my reactions to Amira, and comment down below anything you want to say about it. I am wide open to suggestions. Even comment something so dirty and nasty. I don't care. Just comment what you think. He's super young. That is exactly what I meant in the first video I reacted to her ever, which is her singing O Mio Babino Caro at an older age. You guys take it out of context, now I don't understand why, but here's what I said in the last time I reacted to her singing this. I said that she took a breath mid-phrase, and that is not something to do if you wanted to truly uh, sing opera well. I'm not saying that using microphones and broadcasting equipment and stuff cancels out the fact that you're singing an opera aria. You still want to sing it as well, if not better, than the original singer who... So, what is she doing here differently? She held on. Mi piace bello, bello. And even though she sang it far longer than I did, I can't remember exactly, she still held it together. In case she was out of breath by the end of it, she did not give any telltale signs. And if you're able to do that, you've come through for yourself, girl. This is what I was talking about, the fact that you have to hold out the phrase at least on a normal length of time the entire way through before taking another breath. She did far more than that. That's why I'm saying this is what I was talking about when I was saying you shouldn't take breaths mid-sentence or mid-phrase. Let's continue. I'm going to mentally prep myself for those who are going to start yelling at me in the comment section. <laughs> It's truly gorgeous when you get right down to it. 
whether she's doing everything correctly or not. She's singing it again. Now I see why it says Andre Rayu with Amira. She's the one singing and he's the one right next to her conducting her and the orchestra. Hands off. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> That's something different. I've heard singers like Maria Callas do it like that. And she's one of the greatest soprano opera singers in the history of Western music altogether. I'm saying that's one of the exceptions as far as I'm aware, because I think it's more so meant to have that breath in between. I might be going crazy, but who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna guess you guys are gonna say, yeah, he's going crazy because he can't sing a single note, you dummy. <laughs> and you're being super hard on her unnecessarily, you idiot. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> That's what I imagine you guys are about to say. Something I realized, it's especially difficult when you're singing live with a real orchestra conductor because it really is the conductor himself who's guiding everything, including her voice. So that's kind of scary to think about because if you fail on his command, it will not be forgotten within that performance. It won't sound bad overall at all because she's under age 10 singing this and she sounds gorgeous, but it will definitely leave a mark on everyone. It will not be something that people will forget easily. Or at least if it's not something that most people in the audience will notice, it's definitely something that the performers will not forget, at the very least. <laughs> obvious prodigy. Just a little bit of entering straight tone instead of vibrato, but who cares?
I'm going to assume you all knew that it was meant to end in instead of the octave above but when you can show off you ought to show off and she is clearly someone who knows exactly what she wants and especially for the developing brain that is beyond immeasurable something i really wish i uh, realized a long time ago i'm so sorry to everyone who thinks I wasn't aware of that. All I have to say is, I'm sorry if I made you feel like I didn't realize that she really is so amazing at what she does. I wish I had made that clearer in the first and the second video I reacted to her. That's my point, and I hope that you enjoyed me reacting to her because... Ugh. Ugh. I'm jealous of you, girl. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up. If you want more of my reactions to her, make sure to subscribe down below with the notification bell on. Turning on the notifications will allow you to truly know when I've posted a certain reaction video that you might want to see from me. And if you want more of my reactions from her, make sure to comment those in the comment section below, as well as your thoughts on my reaction. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.